After being the only player selected by the Raptors in the 2022 NBA entry draft, Raptors fans were extremely excited about Kristen Coloco, and after seeing his performances in preseason, he is justifying that excitement. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the three biggest reasons you should be hyped about Kristen Coloco and his potential Raptors career. Let's get into it. What's going on NBA and Raptors fans, it's Jacob here back with Amateur Sports for another Toronto Raptors YouTube video. On this channel, I bring you the greatest coverage and analysis on the latest Toronto Raptors news. So if you like what you see from today's video, then make sure you are subscribed to the channel and help us now on our road to 13,000 subscribers because while we are doing our watch party for the Raptors versus Rockets game on Friday, we hit 12,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you so much, guys, for helping us hit this milestone. Let's continue to push on and have a great season of Raptors content. But our video in question today is about Christian Coloco. And now Raptors fans, justifiably so, were extremely excited about this player when he was selected 33rd overall by, of course, the Toronto Raptors. Mainly because, well, it was a great pick. I was very happy with the pick. He was quite high on my wish list of players the Raptors could draft in that 33rd overall position. But he was the only player that the Raptors actually drafted in that draft because they trade away their first round pick to acquire Thaddeus Young in the trade deadline also to get rid of Goran Dragic and his horrible contract but we got Kristen Coloco and we were very happy in the position I was very happy in this position this is a guy that I thought was going to be going in the late first round and the Raptors identified the problem of not having a rim protector, not having a center, and decided that they needed to start working on it. They didn't want to waste any of their money for contracts on somebody who can come in more so on day one. They wanted to take a player they could mold and shape to the way the Raptors in 2022 onward are going to want to play. They want to find a guy with potential, which they have here in Coloco, and shape him into the center that they want him to be because standing at seven feet tall plus, Coloco was an excellent defender in his college time with Arizona. The Raptors have identified that this is a player who can play great on defense, also do some stuff on the perimeter on defense, which you wouldn't necessarily expect for a seven foot tall player. And also they want to improve on his offensive game. In his last year with Arizona, he did win defensive player of the year in his conference. The Raptors were probably extremely excited to have him at 30th overall. And Bobby Webster even said that they had him a lot higher on their draft board than at 33 overall. So they're feeling like they got a steal in this position. But after seeing Coloco play so far in preseason, I got to say, he's a lot better than I have expected him to be. I thought this would be a guy who'd struggle at the NBA level, especially early on, and would need a lot of time in the G League to develop. But so far, it has been great, and I am excited very much for this season and for the future. So let's break down the three biggest reasons that you should be hyped about this player and what he can do in his Raptors career. And then I'll talk about, at the end, what I expect his role to be with the Raptors and potentially the Raptors 905 going into his rookie season. So the first thing that we need to discuss and probably the biggest reason that you should be hyped about this player is his interior defense. He is an absolute block machine. And even though we did not play well against the Rockets as a team, I mean, it was a horrible game for the Raptors against the Rockets. Even though we were terrible in that game, Coloco was shining, especially early on with his interior defense. He actually got the start in this game. Fred Van Vliet was injured. So they brought, well, he wasn't injured. He was resting. So they brought in Coloco into the starting lineup right away. Now that is something I definitely was not expecting to see here from the Raptors, Nick Nurse and the coaching staff. But this just showcases that they have faith in Coloco's ability. I know it's preseason. You're just trying things out. I'm not sure he would start a regular season game in the same setting, but they have faith in the player. They got him in with the starting unit that had been struggling. And in the first six minutes of the game, Coloco got four blocks. Like he was a block machine on the inside. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of people think just because you're a center and you're seven feet tall, blocks are going to come to you naturally. But that is definitely not the case here for Coloco, whose timing is excellent. This is something that I identified pre-draft in all of my analysis of this player. But we are now actually seeing it here in a much faster setting that is the NBA, even though it is just preseason. He is timing his blocks very, very well. And honestly, his help defense and drop coverage is much better than I expected it to be. He's really ushering the people that kind of switch on to him and they get past their first check. He's switching on to them very well, moving his feet very well, and kind of taking them to the rim where he can time his block with a great degree of effectiveness. As I have mentioned, the Raptors have not replaced 
Serge Ibaka and Marc Gasol since they left after the 2019-2020 season. It's been pretty ugly because we haven't had those players in this team and we've been longing for a center. But the Raptors decided, you know, they didn't want to sign somebody like Aaron Baines or Alex Len again. They wanted to shape a player, as I mentioned earlier, from the draft. And they think that they have a center for the future here in Christian Coloco, who could be that defensive anchor for the team. Last season, one thing I was a little bit annoyed with was we had these, all these great perimeter defenders like Siakam, like Van Vliet, OG Ananobi, and a whole host of other players in this team who are great on defense. But how good would they be to have that defensive anchor that they could usher their checks in towards the paint? Because right now, all these guys, they keep their feet moving. They stay with their check as they kind of drive inside. But sometimes the tough shot can just kind of fall for these players or they can just squeak by and get to the rim. But how about if you can usher that player towards a rim where you're met by a defensive block machine and anchor like Christian Coloco, if he pans out the way we're projecting him to based on what we've seen from the player. That would be a very tasty sight for Toronto Raptors fans to watch. That is reason number one. Now, reason number two you should be hyped about Christian Coloco is his offensive game and his finishing. After watching him in Summer League, I gotta say, I had my concerns, and I will definitely say rightfully so, because his layups, those short little hook shots, those short little push shots that you need a center to hit consistently— like they just were not going in and a lot of them just were not very close and his offensive game you know understandably you're looking at him like, okay this is a guy 33rd overall pick he's raw he needs work he needs to grow in the G League that's going to come for the player we're not very concerned about that but it just doesn't seem to be here yet but so far in preseason like he's making all these hook shots he's making all these short push shots he's even making some mid-range jumpers and of course he is getting through him and throwing the ball down sometimes I mean the nature of being that tall but his his touch around the rim is much softer and it's much craftier at this point and maybe it's a little bit of a testament to the Raptors development system so far but offensively he looks way 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 ahead of what I expect him to look like and again all of these things I know it is just preseason but these sort of indications, tendencies are a lot better than I was expecting coming into preseason. Before my first Raptors watch party, before that Utah game, I said to Raptors fans, because naturally, like I said, this is our only draft pick. We're really excited to watch and play because he is our only draft pick. We don't have a first round pick to be this super excited about. This is the guy we're super excited about. But I told people in the chat, like manager expectations because Coloco like is raw it could be a little bit ugly out of the gate, but oh my goodness, did he prove me wrong. He was excellent out of the gate in, in all three of these games offensively, and because he's so far ahead of expectations, I'm wondering if he can skip out a lot of, on a lot of that G League development. I think that it would benefit to be a little bit in the G League and spend some time there. I'll touch on that a little bit later in the video, but way, way, way ahead of expectations offensively. Now, let's go into the third reason you should be hyped about Christian Coloco, and this is probably the reason that the Raptors management and coaching staff are the most hyped about this player, and that is his perimeter defense. Sure, we have a seven-footer here who we know can be the defensive anchor and hopefully get there at some point in his career and be sort of a franchise center for this Raptors team, but that Houston game, playing from the start, and he had to switch off a lot of times because naturally you're going to go hunting for that seven foot center to come out in the perimeter and defend you. Like there were some sets even defending against Kevin Porter Jr., an extremely crafty point guard as Ken Birch later in the video found out just how crafty he is. I mean, there was a violation there on Ken Birch, but Coloco held his own going out in the perimeter. And for a seven footer, my goodness, does he move his feet well? And he is that switchable sort of center with that height that the Raptors potentially have been looking for here because he has the ability to go play out in the perimeter and switch off. I mean, it's not ideal, of course, but he is capable of doing it as he showcased there. Got his hands up, was active, kept his feet moving, kept a player in front of him, kept his body in between the basket and the ball. Like all of these things he was doing extremely well. There was a few other indications that we saw from being able to do that in that preseason game. And I get it's only Houston Rockets players, but this is, again, something that was a lot better than I was expecting it to be. I knew he was capable of going out on the perimeter. That's partially why the Raptors drafted him in this position, because they feel like this is a defensive anchor who also has the switchable tendencies that they they absolutely covet on this team, and they treat as almost a be-all, end-all for a player defensively. Well, he is fitting this sort of need right now for a center who can go out on the perimeter and play his defense out there, along with being 
that defensive anchor. And even in drop coverage, as I was mentioning earlier on in the video, he's moving his feet really well. And even the crafty point guards are finding it difficult just to sort of blow by him. It's not really happening there. He's staying with them, keeping his hands up and making their life difficult. Exactly what you want from your seven foot center and defensive anchor. So based on him being above projections, how do I see this season going for the player? Because I thought there would have been a lot of time in the G League going into this season to develop his game. And I don't think that really is going to be any different here. The Raptors have a really good bench. I really, really like the bench that we have right now in Achua, Otto Porter Jr., Chris Boucher, Thad Young. We're looking for a 10th man. Don't really need another forward or big, I don't think. So I'm really liking Delano Banton right now. And maybe I should do a full video on him for how he's playing in preseason. But Coloco needs to get playtime, needs to get repetitions in, and we need to work on his development. What's great about our G League team, the Raptors 9 of 5, it is in close proximity location-wise to the Toronto Raptors team. They play in Mississauga at the Paramount Fine Food Center. So you can do double duty. You can practice with both teams. You can do a lot of stuff for the 905, but right now development is key. And what's also great about the 905 is that they play in a very similar way to the way the Raptors want to play. So when a player is out there developing in the G League or a player gets called up from the G League, they fit more seamlessly with their NBA team because that is the way the G League team plays as well. I think that's a great part of the way the Raptors have constructed their development team here with the Raptors 9 to 5. So getting those repetitions in, working with the development teams of that G League affiliate Raptors 9 of 5 team. That is exactly what the G League affiliates are designed to do. I think just getting those repetitions and play time in, getting more play time, getting like 38 minutes per game in the G League, I just think that is going to help the player a lot with his improvements over the course of his rookie season. And eventually, I think this would be a great foundation for him in his NBA career. I think he should get some Raptors NBA minutes here or there. I would love to see, especially just from the start, him getting time in the G League, and then we can reevaluate if he is ready to get consistent minutes in the NBA. Right now, don't think he's going to get those out of the gate, maybe towards the tail end of the season. But at this point, after seeing him above my expectations so far, I wouldn't even be surprised if by like a quarter of the way through the season, he is getting regular rotation minutes. So what do you guys make of Chris and Coloco in his early preseason form? Are you just as hyped as I am about him? Is there a point that I missed? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below because that is it for me for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please drop a like if you did enjoy. It does go a long way to supporting the channel. Trust me, and it only takes you a second to do. Let's get to 200 likes on today's video. And if you enjoyed the video and if you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe to Amateur Hour Sports. We just hit 12,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. I am super grateful just to be able to convey my passion and love for basketball and for the Raptors on this channel. And have so many people who are interested in watching it and taking it all in. Really do appreciate it, guys. We do three or four watch parties for every Raptors game on this channel. Unfortunately, I have Thanksgiving plans and won't be able to do the one tonight. But for the regular season, we'll be trying to do it for every single Raptors game. And you get videos like this three or four times a week as well. So be sure to join the Amateur Army by subscribing today.